Hey guys, uh, my brother Kid here, uh, and my bro, uh, Hope93, we are here in the place to be. Uh, how's everybody doing? Um, we are back, and we just came back from seeing uh, Cap America. Uh, yeah, we would have been back earlier. <laughs> yeah, we would have been back earlier, but uh, we, we had to go get some grub and stuff like that. I was like, my tablet. Yeah, Malcolm left his tablet uh, in the movie theater. Luckily, we found it. He found it. It was cool. Um, we're here to talk a little bit. We're not going to go really into too much detail, guys, because of the fact that, you know, we got the YouTubers core, our group, we have the whole round table we're going to get together and do uh, in a little bit. But first of all, we got to make something, let me make something perfectly clear here, right now and right now. Uh, I said that twice. But we're, this, this review is not about putting down. Not just this review. Yeah. Even the round table review. Yeah. We are not here. To, we're not putting down B, BVS. BVS. We're not putting that down. We're not even going to try to compare it. So if you're going to bring any of those questions to us when this video goes up in the comment section below, know this right away. They will be deleted. I will not answer them because I'm not trying to get into some kind of feud or... DC versus Marvel nonsense, which I get tired of. We're not using Civil War. We're not using Civil War to uh, to, to use as ammunition for BVS. Right there, you go. Um, so we're we're, we're we're gonna we're we're not gonna spoil anything, really, guys. We're, we're gonna try to keep this spoiler free. I always try to do that with my review. Um, the first thing, as always, what I try to do. Is uh I don't think I have our ticket stubs anymore. Usually for my reviews, I always show the ticket stubs because that's my legitimacy of showcasing. It's proof that we did see the movie. I don't think I have the ticket stubs, and I think I threw them away. Uh, let me make sure. I uh, I think I did. I think I did. Um. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh yeah, I think I did. Um. But we did see the movie. We did see the movie. Um, wait, no, here we go. Aha, there it is. There it is, right there. You can see that. There you go. Mm, there's the other one. Yeah, by the way, that one fell on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's, let's talk about this a little bit. Okay, first of all, Mr. Evans continues to shine as this character. Okay, um, he is Steve Rogers. Uh, did this this felt uh, once again like a, another Avengers movie uh, because of the fact of all the characters are in this movie? Not just that. Not only are they all in it, not only are they all in it. It's not like Cap is like the real focal point. Well, I'm not saying he's not a focal point, but most of all the other characters actually do play a big play a pretty decent role in it to, to enough that it's like. Could have just called this the Avengers Civil War. Now, of course, yeah, this is supposed to be the the the, the cinematic universe's version of the story arc from 2007, I believe. Correct me on that one, guys. Um, I'm the, I'm the geek, High Lord's memory is a little hazy on that when that story arc came out. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah damn right, I don't like it. But anyway, yeah, um. I was a little bit, I was a little, I was very impressed. The movie was good. We enjoyed it very much. We went into this. Um, you should have seen me, guys. I was at the edge of my seat like this the whole time. Hey, you go you go on edge of seat before. Even before, before the, the movie. movie. Before they even showed the signature Marvel yeah, Studios opening. I was like this the whole time just watching it. Um, the the movie was very fast paced, in my opinion. Like, it. 147 minutes. It was 147, yeah, but it was like it was like this. Very quick, 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 quick. Um I very much enjoyed how they did the pacing in terms of, but it was very quick. Um you seeing what's been going on with the team, and you're seeing kind of what Steve Tony has been doing outside of the team. And uh of course, with anything, there's got to be some kind of incident that kind of brings on the focal point of why this is called that. And we see that in a manner of speaking. And mom and I are going to kind of get into that. That's something that we wanted to talk about. Kind of what was probably the 
two of the biggest things we kind of had a problem with this movie in a sense. But uh, other than that, it was crystal clear, fine. Um, we talked a little. Let's talk about the probably the two two newest members of the MCU. Okay, Mr. Bozeman. He killed it as Panther. I I loved him as Panther. His performance, first of all, just hearing him with the accent, I was like, ooh. I was like, ooh. It didn't I, sound phony. Yeah, it didn't sound phony because, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Bozeman has played an African character before in a, a previous movie. But I liked how he, he portrayed himself um, very almost clear cut to the comic. I was like, Wow, he he's very close to that that character, and what makes it even more is that I I'm just telling Malcolm once again, if Mr. Jack Kirby was alive, he'd be very happy to know another one of his creations has made it to the big screen, and just seeing what Mr. Bozeman did in this, everything he was in, I, we were surprised how much he was in this movie. He yeah, would he, he if you had to if you had to rate like in terms of excuse me. Like level, um, not even him. Probably, probably not. Probably important. Probably not the right word, but probably um, how they was integrating the story. They had to level it. Besides Cap and besides Cap and Tony and Bucky, probably T'Challa is right underneath them. Probably it, he's right there with them because you know it's a little swirl, but because. He's even in a, a, the the final like the final conflict final, scene. Final, yeah, the final act. Yeah, the final act. He he plays a part in that. Yeah, but he was so good. I really enjoyed. It. I liked the flow. I liked his fighting skills. I was like perfect. Just what? that's exactly how T'Challa would fight. Um, and, but, come, and I think the performance of Black Panther, we have Bozeman's performance, and the in the direction of Black Panther, and the um, direction and also the um, the portrayal of Black Panther um, accomplished, I think, the one and main objective of Black Panther being this was 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 it enough to make people interested in him getting when he gets his own movie? And I think that was the main objective to be accomplished with him being integrated in this movie. And I think. That was accomplished. I that think, was, yeah. Even though, I, even though, yes, we were interested in all right, black men getting on But, okay, do you give us a little bit more of an incentive of why, yeah, we would like to go see even more? And that's what I think that did. Yeah, it, it, it definitely uh, even made me more. I'm, I was already, I'm a Black Panther fan, period, guys. So when Marvel announced that Panther was coming, I was, I, we, most of us fans were always saying, when are they going to do Black Panther? And I was probably amongst a few that were saying, I'm just patiently waiting to, I'm patiently waiting, and when they finally announced, I was like, yeah, and but this pretty much now kind of put that stamp of approval, like there you go, certified, and now it makes you wonder, okay, when he comes, I can't wait, and let's talk about young Mr. Holland, young Mr. Holland as Peter Parker, Spidey has is home in a sense, he is home, and. I got to say, right off the bat, he had everything I wanted from my favorite hero, my number one hero. He had the quirkiness. He had the the, 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 the geekiness. He had everything you want that it felt very much like Peter from old days of Stan Lee and Ditko run. Is Peter was always the younger, the young hero in the eyes, watch, looking through the eyes of these older heroes. And it, he... and Tom Holland portrayed that very well for me. I was like, he got it. He he got it. I I saw. He said that Mr. Holland said, young Mr. Holland said, and I keep saying that because I'm older than him. Uh, but he said that he's gonna take a little bit of McGuire and a little bit of Garfield and put his own twist to it. And he did. He did. And but it was it was good. I liked how they did it. And yes, seeing young um, Marissa Torme. Oh my God, Marissa Torme. Hey, hey. Yeah, hey, hey. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, he did his thing, and when he got 
in the costume. He's great. The way he interacted with the other heroes, even though he was in conflict with them, was perfect. Uh... I like the fact that they didn't go, we already know the origin, so they didn't have to do that, but I like that they announced that he's been Spider-Man, like six months, that, okay, we're going to spoil that, he's been Spider-Man for six months, um, so, but there are some stuff, like, even with him, it's, it was just like, okay, he's been around for six months, and we're just knowing about it now. Well, that, what are we get? Yeah. That you can't really. Yeah, like, like, that's because, right. Like, you, look, for those years that Marvel Cinematic Universe have been around, yeah, Spider Man was still part of Sony. Right, right. So, you know, what you gonna do about? That? Yeah, you can't really explain it. But the fact is that he's been around for six months and he's already really enhanced with his powers. I, I like that they kind of went a little in depth with his abilities of why he wears. He was wearing the. Actually, I don't want to spoil that. I'll spoil something in there. But he, he was talking about his his spider he sense like and everything. Goggles. Yeah. See, that's why I didn't want to spoil that. But yeah, he was talking about like his senses are so now up now. It's like almost it's hard for him to focus sometimes. And I was like, okay, that's kind of interesting. He did get bit by a regular yeah. spider. All right. Mm -hmm. But then there's also something that I'm I'm not sure if it's true, but. When he was interacting with Tony, Tony was in his apartment in Queens. Um, he said something, ladies and gentlemen, when Peter likes to tinker with stuff and he fixes stuff, he said it. But then he said, I think he said another character's name. I'm not going to ruin what it is. But he's, and I'm like, was that a name drop? For, was that name drop for a reason? Or was that just somebody else? Um, for anybody who does, yeah, you see Malcolm doing something, yeah. Um, but both characters, Mr. Bozeman and young Mr. Holland, they did their thing. They certified us now that, personally for us, we're more, very more excited to see them in their own respective movies now. Um, but we do have some problems with this movie. And it's, it's something that I think we all... Uh, have had a problem with, especially with this almost indestructible armor that is known as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And that has always been the villains. And I'm going to let Malcolm tell this guy. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, handle that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. As most of everybody or what we was trying to tell people when they was announced that the Civil War movie was coming out and when the trailers came out, me and Chris were always tell people there is an actual villain in this movie. And they kept this villain under wrap. Now, probably we thought, hey, they're keeping Zemo under wraps. I mean, Baron Zemo, but he wasn't even a Baron in this, just to let you know. We thought they kept other, they kept him under wraps enough where it was like, okay, probably he's going to be a big deal. And he didn't come across as a big deal. Heck, there was a guy, a guy was sitting there who I was conversating with every once in a while throughout the movie. But I actually told him that I was not feeling him. He was like, yeah, I'm not feeling him either. And I'm like, Chris, well, there's been a flaw in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that, yeah. Well, they get the heroes pretty dumb, right? It comes at the ex see, like it comes at the expense of the villain. And one of my fears of this movie was that by the time the whole civil war conflict, you know, gets, you know, or that gets cleared, or that you know that subsides, and it's now on to yeah, that it's Zemo that's that's the real villain. Oh, he's Puppet the, master. Yeah, he's, he's that. Right, yeah, he's not that good. Mm -hmm. Um, that yeah, it's gonna be like, all right. We're now on to Zemo, and my fear was that when that happened, they move on to Zemo. It's like, right, well, he kind of should just kept it between yeah, Tony and Steve, and that's exactly what I felt. I was like, 
you could have just kept it, the conflict between them and it just being resolved. Yeah. And I'm just okay. Zemo. I'm like I'm not gonna remember him. I'm not. And okay, yeah, he didn't look like his comic book counterpart, but at the same time, looks pretty, looks pretty generic to me. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's one of the flaws that we definitely had is, once again, the villains still, that's that chink in that armor right there. That's where the weak spot is. And until they start getting that right, um, yeah, that's probably the biggest fear we had for the movies. Like, yeah, villain-wise, is just going to... But then the other the other problem we had with... An, it's irony. Man. Yeah, the well, irony. No, no, not irony, but it's just crazy. It's just funny yeah. that the Marvel Cinematic Universe it hasn't really got the real, hasn't really got it right with their villains when there are a lot of great villains in the Marvel yeah, universe. They, they have so many. I mean, besides, and they places, you say, outside of Loki, you know, everybody else seemed to tank. And now, it, yeah. I will not, I will say that I didn't feel Ultron tank. No, yeah, I, Ultron and, didn't tank and to me. And with Loki, it got to the point where even in movie, it's like, is he even really the full on villain now? Because it seemed like, because if you know, if you guys don't know, Loki has a real big fan base to the point where it seems, I read that, read that some people don't even see him as a villain. Hey, but yeah, but but the other than that, guys, the other focal point is we had of the whole reasoning of the quote unquote registration act, or as they call it, and we're gonna spoil this. They call it the Sokovia Accord. Um, when the movie was going in and Thunderbolt Ross was talking about it and everything like that, first of all, yeah, that, that was his. That's his. That was his uh, army name. Probably wasn't the leader of the Thunderbolt. No, no. But Thaddeus Ross, Thunderbolt Ross. Now he's a senator. He's somehow he made it from the army now to the senator. Yeah, we uh, have not seen him which, since yeah. 2008, so it's like, well, what was yeah. he doing? That's what yeah. he was doing all that I time? guess that's what he was doing. But the point is, he gives us he gives us a reason, gives us kind of the stale approval of why this is happening. And he goes on a list. New York. You may see. Washington, D.C. So, I mean, uh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Sokovia. Yeah, Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron. And that was pretty much his reasons. And, the, and, the and, and then the current stuff that happened with a certain character. I'm not going to name who that is. Uh, but I'm listening. I'm reading. And I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, he said New York. And that wasn't the Avengers fault. Washington, D.C. That wasn't the Avengers fault. And Sokovia. Okay, that one. Yeah. And that was kind of the accord of it. And basically, to me, it was just like, okay, the world is just holding blame on... Once again, it's easier to put the blame on the heroes than the villains. And, you know, that's so focal point. But the way they did it, it was... How do we say it? It was executed... The con Get the concept of, okay, yeah. we got to hold the... We're holding the Avengers responsible for these things. But the execution of it and that fall on the place of, okay, you're using other movies because the cinematic universe, everything is canon with each other. You use what happened in the Avengers. So you use something from 2012 with the Avengers. You use what happens in Winter Soldier. And you use what happened in Age of Ultron. So you use two events from two, from, from two from three different movies. Okay, granted... Okay, Winter Soldier and and so War. Okay, it's still Captain America. So that, okay, let it slide. Okay, okay, at least those are two sequels. But so you use these three events, but the execution of it it makes it it makes it fallacious because it's like, okay, the Avengers. How's that fault when Loki was starting all of this, and then Winter Soldier, it was Hydra, it was Hydra that infiltrated. In shield. in shield, and just so happened that those helicarriers were made by Tony. And as for Age of Ultron, 
yeah, okay, yeah, Tony was the mate, was the one that created Ultron. And that's another thing. The way that, even, the way that it seems though with this movie, because even Zemo, I guess, kind of hints at it. It seems that though, after Age of, somewhere after Age of Ultron, either Tony or Tony publicly said that, yeah, Ultron was his creation because the way some people put in blame besides people of the Avengers, I'm thinking, how's that, why does it seem like people know that Ultron was his creation? Yeah. And it's like, so concept-wise, okay, Civil War, just like with a comic, you're placing responsibility, you're placing blame on the heroes. Yeah. But in this movie, the execution of it comes across a little bit flawed because it really wasn't their responsibility. Right. And, you know, but the, the basis of it is, guys, we did enjoy the movie. And, um, there was good action. There was definitely good action. Um, probably one of my favorite scenes is the chase scene with T'Challa, Bucky, and Cap. That was a great scene. That really showcased what Panther could do. Um, Ant-Man had a... Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! I... We flipped the fuck out when that happened. I'm not going to ruin what that was, but yeah. Uh, 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 Scott had moments, and it was really good. Um, everybody brought who was brought to the game brought their A game, in my opinion. Even characters that just were a little bit to be just be there, but it was good to see them there. Um, even Sharon Carter, she she had a little bit more of what to, in this movie than in the previous movie. Um, there is we finally get to know that yes, she is uh, related to a certain character. I'm not. We should all know who that is. Um, but just the overall uh, appreciation I have is for Mr. Bozeman. Definitely, because his character to me was very important to get right and oh, get because he was a new character. get new character exactly get right, but also get new eyes on this character. They're like, hey, this guy is pretty cool. Um, being that Spider Man now is a part of the universe now, it was like, okay, we have to be a little bit different than what we've seen previous wise. Um, but overall, we enjoyed it. Very much. Um, this was a highly anticipated movie that was beeping on my radar very loudly. And I s sat through this movie just eyes open and glu my, I, I'm not joking, guys, when I was like this the whole time. Like this. Oh, it was only like one time I actually leaned back in my seat. But other than that, eyes was wide open like this. Like just rooting for Tony. Rooting is not root I was more root I was team cap, yes. I'm going to be honest. I was Team Cap. Um, but there's some stuff we're, um, we're going to talk about on the, the round table or the YouTuber's core. We're going to get into more but when the rest of the group sees it. But definitely, definitely enjoyed the movie, guys. Yes, we had there were certain problems that we had with it. And I wouldn't be myself. I um, wouldn't be real if I didn't say I. Oh, it was great. I had no problem with it. No, there were some things I had a problem with. Um, Yeah. But we enjoyed it. We very much did. Um, and Malcolm enjoyed it. Yeah, I yeah, did enjoy very it. Much. I mean, I mean we, we've seen so far three, no, four movies. This, but there's only been three superhero movies. Yes, three superhero movies so far that we've seen so far. And the three that we've seen, I would literally say two out of three we enjoyed. And... There are it's supposed to be seven, but now I think there's only six left. Um, and three down, now I think there's only two. I think two more. No, three more for me to go, uh, which are X-Men, Suicide Squad, and Doctor Strange. Um, yeah, um, yeah, but other than I, that, guys, I, I don't see why is TM why is the turtle even considered a superhero movie? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just I don't get that. I get that the turtles came from comic, but 
Me personally, I never look at the turtles as superheroes. Super super I yeah. see them as heroes. Yeah. But I never put the term superheroes for them. But uh, 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 yeah, but we 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 very much enjoy this, guys. And um, you guys tell us in the comment section below how. I'm just trying to sound what I enjoyed it. I'm trying to sound what I enjoyed it more than I still enjoy a bunch of souls. Yeah, but once again, Captain America has proven that. In our eyes, he is the most consistently good of the solo Marvel movies. And we mean that because he's had three so far. Has this broke broken the trend of, you know, the Doom superhero movies? That third movie comes out, the Doom, it goes ding to pop. Uh, yeah, we could kind of say that. But... Man, I've never seen like Dark Knight Rises. Man. Yeah, not, no, but there, there are more misses with superhero movies with threes than um, our hits but uh other than that we enjoyed it you guys tell us in the comment section below what did you think of it did you see it we tried not to spoil too much for you guys uh stay tuned because we're soon my team will do the round table and yeah that will be spoiler heavy and we'll get real nitty-gritty with more of the whole cast uh, everything like that but other than that guys my Kid, Hulk 93, in the place to be. We'll see you guys next time. Holla at your boys. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'm doing dashy stuff. Uh, uh, as always, my my slogan. Uh, I've been watching too much dashy, guys. Uh, my slogans, as always. Peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real, guys, as always. I'll catch you guys on the flip.